are the strangest Super Bowl halftime shows of all time. In 1995, instead of a musical guest headlining the event, the NFL let Disney advertise their new Indiana Jones Temple of the Forbidden Eye exhibit by letting them throw a whole Super Bowl halftime show? That might be weird, but it doesn't compare to the next time the NFL let Disney do another halftime show. This time it was in 2000. Phil Collins, Christina Aguilera, Enrique Iglesias, and Tony Braxton all showed up out of nowhere to sing music specifically written for the event. Nobody in the crowd could sing along until they let the Black Eyed Peas do the halftime show in 2010. Now let me tell you, the sound tech definitely got fired after this performance. Not only did they have to self-censor all the curse words which were abundant, literally everything about the sound was off, but none of this compares to the infamous 2004 incident where Janet Jackson had a career-defining wardrobe malfunction, which definitely got the NFL fined from the FCC. 